did you feel like, okay, I got this one? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I felt like, you know, I, we were going to get our chances, especially it was frustrating. We knew that we were a man up, but when we were pressing hard, and so it was so crucial to get that first goal right before halftime because um, it made them have to step out. They couldn't just pack it in. And uh, sometimes when you're a man up, it makes things almost more difficult because there's they're concentrating so much on staying back, getting guys behind the ball, that it makes it hard to break them down. And so, um, you know, to get that goal was so crucial and such a great play, great ball by Bobby and great finish by RJ. And, uh, you know, it opened things up and we knew that we were going to get chances. We just had to finish them. Yeah, it sure looked like they, they uh, were compact. Their shape changed after the man down. Yeah. I mean, all you saw was red back there. And Definitely. at that point, I was like, how are you, you going to get through? I couldn't figure out, you know, how you finally get through. So four goals in four straight games that put you in pretty elite company in Earthquake's history, I'm told, that uh, really? ties you with uh, Ronald Cerritos and uh, Espinosa as wow. uh, the title. So how does that feel for you? Uh, I mean, that feels great. Uh, you know, it's such a great honor because uh, just to have my name mentioned with those names, uh, I was fortunate to play with Ronald Cerritos, and he's a great player. And uh, you know, just to even be on that level, it's uh, pretty nice. But again, I owe this one all to the teammates, especially today's goal. was such great build up by uh, those other guys and, uh, you know, Bobby, RJ, uh, uh, Ramiro put that one on a platter for me, so I owe a lot to these guys. Yeah, I want to kind of have you expand a little bit on how Bobby Conley has been playing so far this season. He seems to really be hitting stride, and, and the service he's providing for you guys has got to be fantastic. Oh, yeah, it's just unreal. I mean, he's playing so well. He's uh, such a good player, so quick, so dynamic, and uh, his balls in uh, make it so dangerous and uh, makes it great for forwards. You know, we, we just pick our runs, and he's able to pick us out rather than the other way around, which can make things a lot, a lot more difficult. All we have to do is try to get open, and so... Um, you know, I mean, he's putting the balls right there, and uh, he's playing so well right now, and uh, it's, uh, he's, he's really in form. Did you need to grow maybe two or three more inches in a couple of those? <laughs> a couple of those. I wish I was, exactly. I wish I was a main Bobby Burling size or I-Cops. Yeah. Uh, I could have gotten that, but <laughs> yeah, I yeah, uh, wish. So Frank just mentioned, uh, that even if you guys did to nothing, uh, you, you're still, you guys still in the game, you're still trying to score more, and it has something to do with the competition between forwards. Can you tell us about that? Um, I mean, definitely. I mean, uh, you know, we're always trying to score. It's a great feeling to score, but, uh, you know, we, especially in this league, uh, you know, no lead's real safe. Uh, I don't know how many times you see 2 nothing leads uh, just evaporate really quick, you know, two, five, two minutes, five minutes, just gone. And so to get that third one was huge, uh, get that fourth one was even bigger, and so, uh, you know, every goal is big in this game. Great.